Hello, this is Avenir and today we're going to connect our CI application uh, with the MySQL database. First, let me, let's make sure we have the services started, Apache and uh, MySQL, okay. Now let's go to our uh, project. In order to test if our project uh, is connected to a database, let's try to do this, this load database and that's it now let's open our browser and go to localhost CI app as you can see we are uh, welcomed by an, an error access denied for user root at localhost dot uh, not using password okay for this we need to go to our application config database and in here we have the settings for our database as you can see we have username root no password and no database so let's try and do as uh, password your own password usually if you have a clean install of uh, WAMP or XAMPP is uh, either root or no password at all I already have a password for my uh, MySQL database let's uh, try and see now if the connection is working cool it is working now for uh, testing our uh, database connection let's uh, try and uh, use the sessions with database backup okay now let's go to goldigniter.com and in here we go to read the manual and go to session library and from session drivers we will go to database drive as you can see in order to use sessions with database we need to create a table let's create this table control copy now local host phpmy admin and let's create a database let's say new database let's name it our ci app db as collation i usually select utf uh, utf Eight UTF eight general CI UTF eight general CI create now we will paste the creation of table CI sessions and we will say go cool we have a new table now in order to enable sessions with database support we will have to go to our config and in here instead of session driver files we will select session driver database okay and from session safe path instead of our path instead of the path to the sessions directory we will set ci sessions a stable ci sessions okay cool now we save and we will see if the sessions works okay 
okay let's go let's do a refresh here as you can see no database selected that is because in our database config we didn't select the database ci app db okay now let's go here and do a refresh okay now if we go to testing uh, sorry welcome testing we should see whatever user which was set up in the welcome in the index method of the welcome controller whatever user cool now we've set up our database and also our uh, sessions with the database support if you want to check if this really happened you can go to CI sessions and browse as you can see we have a sessions with IP which is related to our local host and timestamp cool thank you and we'll see you in the in our next episode bye bye